Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and during the month of December I'm going to be posting to this channel four times a week. So I'm going to post on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious pork and pasta bake. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious pork and pasta bake. Now this recipe is very easy to cook and prepare and it's a brilliant one if you want a quick meal midweek or if you're looking for something easy to make at the weekend but still really tasty. Also I saw at this time of year people might be a bit fed up with turkey by now and might be looking for a change and this is a brilliant dish to have in between Christmas and New Year when you've had enough of turkey and you don't really know what to eat this is a really good dish to have I think so we're going to be having it for our dinner this evening and of course while I was making it I thought I'd share the recipe with you so here is how to make my delicious pork and pasta bake. Firstly, I'm going to preheat my oven to 180 degrees. Next, I have grabbed myself a large saucepan and I'm going to put this onto a high heat on my hob. And then I'm going to add some oil to the base of that pan and I'm gonna leave this pan to heat up. Pan is getting nice and hot. So what I've done is I have peeled, sliced and diced one onion and I'm just gonna add the onion to the base of my pan and I'm gonna fry this onion for a few minutes until it starts to soften. The onion has started to soften, so I'm going to add in two cloves of garlic. I've simply removed the skin and then I've just sliced the garlic. It's just roughly sliced, it doesn't have to be amazing slices for this recipe. I'm not very good at chopping, so it definitely doesn't have to be amazing to be honest. And I'm just going to fry the garlic for about 30 seconds or so. So it just gets a little bit of colour and adds a bit of flavour to the onions. And then one, I'm going to add in a red pepper. So I've top, chopped the top from the red pepper. I've removed the stalk and the core. And then I've just simply sliced and diced the flesh. I'm going to add this to the pan. I'm also going to turn the heat down slightly on my pan as well because I can see it's getting a little bit too hot. So if it does get too hot or if your onions start to stick then it's a good idea to just use a little bit of water maybe. If you have some water to hand just add a bit of water, just a tiny amount and hopefully that will help everything to unstick from the base of the pan. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry these peppers for about five minutes. They probably won't soften at this point, but you just want to heat them through. So the red peppers have started to soften ever so slightly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a courgette. So I've peeled and grated the courgette. You don't have to grate the courgette. You can slice and dice it if you want to, or just simply slice it. I have uh, two fussy eaters in this house and they're not great vegetable fans so if they find big chunks of courgette they don't like it so that's why I always tend to grate my vegetables. I'm sure if you've watched this channel a lot you'll know that. So yes I'm just heating through the grated courgette as well now. So I'm going to heat this through for a further few minutes. They don't mind big chunks of red pepper for some reason, but they don't like big chunks of courgette. So, yes, I. Anyway, I'm going to continue to heat through the courgette with the red pepper and the onions and the garlic as well. The courgette has started to get some colour, so that's what you want when you uh, heat it through in the pan. And now I'm going to add in my pork mince. So I've got 500 grams of pork mince. This is to serve uh, four people. So obviously if you want more, then just add more pork mince, or if you want less, then add less. And I am going to fry the pork 
until it starts to go a lovely golden brown colour. The pork has started to go a lovely golden brown colour and the juices have started to run clear from the pork as well. So that's how I know it's cooked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two tins of tomatoes to this. So I'm going to add one, two, and to get the juice from the tin, I've shown this before in my videos, I'm just gonna use a little bit of water in the base of the tin and I'm gonna swirl it around and then just tip it out and that gets rid of the juice from the bottom. It's a trick my grandmother used to use and I always use it now. I'm sure I've said that a lot before though, so. Yes, and now I'm just going to stir all of these ingredients together and I'm gonna leave this on the hob to simmer, so I'm going to turn the heat down, I'm going to leave it to simmer while I go and cook some pasta. I have cooked my pasta, but I have forgotten to add a few ingredients, so I'm going to add some tamari to my sauce. So I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tamari. Tamari is just a fermented soy sauce. Um, it's fermented for slightly longer than ordinary soy sauce, so if you can't get tamari or you don't want to use it, then you can always use soy sauce. The only reason I use it is because it's gluten free and I have a slight gluten intolerance. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree to this as well. And those are the ingredients that I forgot. Um, so I'm just going to stir those in now. And then I'm going to add in about a hundred uh, grams of cream cheese to this as well. So that's probably about a couple of large tablespoons to be honest. So I'm just going to add the rest of this pot into the saucepan. So that's that done. And then I'm going to mix that in and I'm also going to add some basil to this as well. And then I'm going to siphon some of this off because I shall be having this as leftovers tomorrow. So I shall take some of this and put it in a glass uh, dish or a dish and just put it in the fridge overnight. And then I can cook myself some fresh pasta and add some cheese tomorrow. So I'm going to go and oh, I'm going to add in the basil first. So I'm just going to add in some basil. I just simply shredded it with my hands like so oh this smells so good now i've added the basil i tell you so i'm going to mix the basil in and then i'm going to go and take some of this off for my lunch tomorrow so i've removed the amount that i want for my lunch tomorrow and then i've cooked enough pasta for two adults and a little one basically so my son is nine but he eats sort of half a portion I say of pasta so I've cooked enough for us three and I'm just going to mix the pasta into the sauce now and then I'm going to turn my heat off as well so I just cooked my pasta as per the packet instructions and then what I'm going to do after this is I am going to put this into a glass dish a dish that you can put in the oven and I'm going to put the cheese on top and then it's going to go in the oven. So I'll show you that in a moment. I've mixed everything together now. So I'm just going to go and grab my glass dish. So I'm going to put all of this into the heat proof dish. And I'm going to put this into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. But before I do, I'm going to add on some cheese that I've grated. So I've grated about 100 grams of cheese here so I'm just going to put that on the top like so and as I said this is going to go into the oven now for about 25 to 30 minutes that is our pork and pasta bake done and as you can see the cheese has gone a lovely golden brown color on top so I'm going to serve some of this in a bowl and that is our dinner done that's how you make my delicious pork and pasta bake and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you I've served myself some of this into a bowl so I'm going to go and eat it now it smells so good I can't wait so for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye